You know, we are still sitting here with multi-talented Cardinal Official. Thank you for sticking around. Oh, oh please, please, thank you for having me. It's been um, amazing. It, it's so exciting to say that you are going to be recognized by um, Canada's Walk of Fame, and they recently named you the 2023 recipient of the Alan Slate Music Impact Honor. Yes. This yeah. is so huge. This award celebrates Canadian musicians who have driven positive impact in the Canadian music industry. You have 10 times over, 100 times over. What does this kind of recognition mean to you? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know, first of all, shout out to, like, the Slate family themselves. They've had such mm. an incredible impact on the music industry here for decades and decades and decades. So to be recognized by such an important musical family within this country, first of all, that's where the first honor is for me. Mm -hmm. um, I think second, it is, you know what? I, I've realized that my, my purpose is to be of service to others. It is to be a bridge. And I think what's incredible is you know, being honored for your musical impact just means that I have been hopefully using my gift for its ultimate purpose, which is not self-serving, mm -hmm. which is something that has had uh, an incredible impact on people. You know, in this country, I've worked with everybody from, you know, the Rascals to Drake to Kanon to whoever. Yeah. And I think for me, that's, that's where the true gift is. That's where the true honor is, mm -hmm. is in being able to, um, to guide to mentor, to collaborate with, and you know, having an impact on those artists. But you know what? Also the artist managers and also the labels wow. and yeah. all the rest of that stuff. I think it's incredible because for me, there wasn't anybody that was really um, able to pave a way up until past a certain point. Yeah. So shout out to Maestro, you know, yeah. the Dream Warriors, Mishy Me, yeah. who's had an incredible impact on me. Mm -hmm. But when I became, for yeah. sure, but when I started doing my thing overseas and I found myself in Europe and in Asia and all these different places in the States, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, there was, it's kind of like, I, I, I liken it to being uh, in a jungle, somebody dropping you in the middle of the jungle uh -huh. and you can see a light to where the civilization is way over there, mm -hmm. but there's no path, there's no GPS, wow. there's nothing except you and a sharp blade, and you kind of have yeah. to just yeah. cut your way, and you can see that light, you're like, I'm coming, Impossible Burger, I'm coming. Yeah. And, <laughs> at so, and it, at, you know, at some point in time, you get there, yeah. but what's incredible is now, everybody has that path to oh where it's much God. easier to walk towards the destination. Mm -hmm. And I think me having an impact on anybody that was able to get from point A to B, the real honor is mine being able to carve that path Listen. forward. Wow, so nice to say. Yeah. Oh. Cardi, you put it so beautifully, and I want to take this moment to say thank you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You're getting your flowers. Thank you. We love you, Cardi. Canada absolutely thank loves you. Thank you so much. And I know it wasn't easy, but you actually, back in 2008, you were the, you were the first Canadian rapper to ever break the Billboard Hot 100 wow. list. Yes. While that song did really well internationally, it was not recognized the same way back here in Canada. Yeah. And I'm curious, how did that make you feel? Ah, uh, uh, well, mm. I, uh, because we're here with, with family, mm -hmm. the reality is it wasn't surprising at that time. Because mm -hmm. unfortunately, at that time, like, um, our infrastructure and what was happening in Canada, it was always kind of moving a few steps behind other places like the States, the UK, and so forth. So what was interesting was, I quite remember it vividly, is it's like I had done what they... On the charts, when they say when you get a number with a bullet, it means like you're ch like you're zooming up the charts. Okay. It wasn't until... I had not only entered the top 200, it wasn't until I was top 40 that I got my first interview request from Canada. Whoa! Wow. Literally. So around the world, we were traveling, doing shows, doing television, doing all this stuff. And at home, it's literally like when it was already a global phenomenon was the time that I got, you know, my, my first request at home. But again, it just goes back to the Walk of Fame, the Alan, uh, the Alan Slate Impact Award, mm -hmm. um, is that's what it's all about. Yeah. is it's about taking those lumps in your career so that a younger artist doesn't have to go through that now. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, true. you know, we've evolved a lot in this country, and I'm, I'm happy to have played a pivotal part in that. Mm. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Well, listen, you're a, a platinum-selling artist. You've collaborated with everyone from Rihanna to Lady Gaga. You've gotten an honorary degree. You're a judge on Canada's Got Talent. You're a philanthropist. 30 years into this career, what are you most proud of? Uh, still being here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 
legitimate <laughs> answer. <laughs> Yeah. You know what? I think I'm most proud of mm. um, still being in tune with several uh, different generations or iterations of what music is. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of times where sometimes you get older and you do lose touch. But I think, mm -hmm. you know, part of one of my jobs is, is being the global a and at Def Jam. Mm. And it's like, I get to work with the brand wow. new, incredible international talent from around the world. So I'm still tapped in to the younger generation, but mm -hmm. I still get to be an OG and mentor them and, you know what I mean? And yeah. give them just some advice guide. and help guide and mold them. So I think for me, mm -hmm. that's probably my, uh, the thing that I'm most proud of at this point in time is just being able to, um, have a hand in and still participate and remain, you know what, remain who I am yeah. from back then yeah. until now. Because hopefully, you know, I'm not uh, a different card now when I come back and do a segment with you guys in a few years where you're like, we don't recognize this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what happen. I mean? Yeah. I, I, I sleep well yeah. knowing that if you see me in Fortinos or you see me here on this chair, mm -hmm. it's the same person it's that you're getting. Awesome. I love that. Yeah. Listen, party. Once again, congratulations. We Thank are you. proud to call you our own. Congratulations Thank on everything. All right, your well-deserved honor and the Canada's Walk of Fame. Thank you can you so stream much. the Canada's Walk of Fame broadcast across the country on Saturday, December 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern on CTV. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.